time to say goodbye to the Rose Bowl flea market. Yeah, for now. I thought, honestly, that I would come here and you guys would have bought more than you had sold. No? A leather suitcase had been sitting there all day unsold. When I opened it to pack things inside, what I saw completely threw me. Whew, I was not expecting that. These are packages that my dad sent back to the United States from Iran. My, my dad imported jewelry when I was a kid, and it's his handwriting. Whew, I was not expecting that. He would buy jewelry on his trips and send them back home while he continued traveling. What, Arthur? These are all from my dad. Oh, my God. 1961. From Iran. I had no idea he'd stored these packages in this old suitcase. I felt like he was with me, and it just took, took over. I got pretty emotional. I'm so glad I didn't sell the suitcase. I know. Well, oh, my god. I mean, it's really ironic, because sometimes the greatest treasure can be right in front of you. Yeah, it's dad coming through loud and clear. I couldn't stop thinking about the jewelry pieces that I found in the old suitcase that my dad had sent from Iran 50 years ago. Hello. So I made a phone call to my good friend, Sonia Boyajan. Sonia Boyajan is a creative talent that lives in Los Angeles, and she's a jewelry maker. I wanted to show Sonia the packages, <gasps> and I knew their contents oh would inspire her. Oh my god, look at all of these. This is amazing. Yeah, I know. All the um, wonderful treasures. This one's got mother of pearl in it. This one's the enamel, hand-painted enamel. And different colors. I mean, they're so that beautiful. Is beautiful. Look at, oh, look at that. She has this very close relationship with her dad. I mean, it's why she got started and what she does. He obviously inspired her. Cool, huh? Look at this Undiscovered one. treasure. And it was like this little message from him to her, sending her, you know, like, Hey, I'm still around, so here's my thing. Her signature is really working with found um, treasures, and I was really happy to be able to, to give them to her because I knew that she'd be able to use them in her work. These pieces that Doris is very kindly giving to me, I'm going to try and surprise her and make something for her before I leave on my trip. Well, it's so good to see you. So good to see you. Look out in the mailbox. Oh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Bye -bye. Thank you. Dodo? Yeah. Special delivery from Sonia's assistant. When did she come in? Yesterday. Wow. Open what a pretty it. Box. I'm glad I could tell you guys didn't open it. Yeah. Before, right? <laughs> this is a gift from my jewelry designer friend, Sonia Boyajan. <gasps> oh. Wow. Oh, she knows your colors. Wow. That is stunning. Just what yeah, you're wearing. The colors yeah. on that are incredible. Well, guess what I'm wearing today? Yeah. Unbelievable. It's so it's beautiful. It, she was inspired by my dad's pieces. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So I can't believe she made something else for me, too. Oh. 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 I feel like a kitten. <gasps> wow. Wow. What was that made from? This is made from my dad's. This is wood, hand-painted. And then these are mother of pearl, hand-painted. And she put it on one of her ceramic pieces with these fabulous rhinestone placements. Wow. wow. To kind of like frame everything. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. I love these, you know? I can wear them and think of my dad, which is great. You know, when I look at these pieces, for me, it's, it really kind of encapsulates the whole reason why I got into this business, which is to take beautiful things from the past and to either um, repurpose them, like it, in this case, um, or resurrect them by, you know, cleaning them and fixing them. Perfect, I can wear this today. Yeah. Hey.